So let's talk about digestion today. Mm -hmm. I would like to ask you, I heard the saying that many diseases and problems can be caused because um, not so good digestion. Yes, in Ayurveda, of course, uh, it's very common. You might have heard people say all diseases originate from stomach. Uh, this has a very uh, nice meaning behind this. It's not just a saying. Because we in Ayurveda, we talk about digestive fire, which is called Jatragni, or in simple words, we can say Pachakagni, Agni, fire. So, Agni is very important for health. If uh, digestive fire is good, then the food that you are eating will be completely digested. It will be converted into all different tissues. Uh, ultimately, it will be converted into ojas, which is the vital fluid, which is the immunity, which is the strength, the mental strength of the person. So everything will be healthy. Now imagine if the digestive fire is not good. So the food you are eating is not completely digested. Some food will remain undigested and that undigested food in the small intestine will start to ferment and it will produce a toxic material which is called ama. And we say in Ayurveda, ama is the mama, it's the mother of all diseases. Because this ama, this will stick to the intestines and create colitis for example, or some other uh, disease of the intestine. It can go into the joints and cause uh, arthritis. The same mucus can go into your lungs and cause uh, bronchitis or asthma. It can go anywhere into the minute channel and block the channels. So it's very, very important uh, that digestive fire should be strong and not only at the physical level, also the digestion at the mental level should be good so that there is no ama at the mental level. And of course, if you go more subtle in the body, there are many different kind of fires working even at the cellular level. So fire or agni or digestion is very, very important uh, thing for health and uh, we often say that as long as a person has strong Agni, he is not only healthy, he is also alive. Because when Agni is uh, you know, down, when Agni is finished, the person also dies. So Agni is uh, life. You can say digestion is the foundation of our health and life. I hear that digestion is very much connected to our mental being mm -hmm. or stress. Mm -hmm. So for example, IBS, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, what kind of diseases we can also get, like um, if the food is not digested well? Yes, uh, our, uh, our digestive system uh, is very closely connected with our brain. Uh, this is now also called a second brain, you know. Anything that happens in the brain, which is of course the working area for our mind, as you said. So when mind is not uh, well, so if we have anxiety, if we have uh, fear, if we have nervousness, if we have depression, a direct impact can be seen on the digestion. You know, Suppose somebody is depressed, so they will see that they, they may not want to eat, they don't have a strong appetite or they will eat more. And similarly, when uh, someone has anxiety, so they can have you know some kind of you know gurgling sound in the in the digestive system they can have uh, diarrhea when somebody is under fear you can have diarrhea and specifically talking about ibs which is irritable bowel syndrome i always ask this question that uh, why do the uh, the bowels become irritated irritation is also a word used for uh, mind you know mind becomes irritated so your bowels become irritated when your mind is irritated. So these diseases of digestive system can have a very close contact with our mind definitely. And especially when people come with such diseases like IBS, they come to us. We are treating them not only at physical level, we are also giving them some treatment for the mind also. Some, some herbs to calm down the mind, some herbs to nourish the mind. We give them sattvic diet, we advise them sattvic, you know, some exercises, some things to calm or relax the mind and we see amazing results, you know. Otherwise, uh, many people suffering from IBS from years and years, taking medicines and doesn't work. Because definitely, if you see the bowels become confused, sometimes there is constipation, sometimes there is diarrhea. So it's a confusion, but where is this confusion coming from? It's coming from the mind, because in the mind, 
that person may have lot of stress, lot of pressure, confusion, anxiety and that gets down into your digestive tract. So, this is a very very close connection between the mind and the digestive system. Many women nowadays have a stomach bloating mm -hmm. and they really suffer from that. What could be the causes or how a woman naturally can help herself to calm down her stomach? Well, there could be two causes for bloating and uh, you know wind formation. One definitely uh, the physical at physical level. Uh, at physical level there can be also two three different reasons. One is maybe the female is eating lot of uh, fried foods, she is eating lot of sweets, she is eating lot of heavy foods maybe or she is eating irregularly or she is eating dinner uh, which is very heavy or she is eating it late at night you know there can be many different. So, food is one factor. Second is uh, maybe the food is good and she is doing everything fine, but the, the jatragni or the digestive fire is not so strong you know it is weak jatragni or it is uh, erratic you know it is uh, variable you know it is it's, uh, it's not regularly doing its job properly. Then uh, there could be also the lack of exercise at physical level. Many times females are busy only in the home, you know they are working with, for the children and doing lot of things and they do not find time to exercise or they do not find time to work out properly. So, that also can lead to bloating and gas formation. So, this is uh, at physical level. Then talking about uh, mind level. At mental level, if the female is more depressed and she has some emotional problems and she is like not very happy, so that can also lead to the indigestion because uh, mind and digestive system has very close have very close connection with each other. And then this can also lead to bloating. So this can be from physical as well as from uh, mental level. Is there some remedies or some herbs or spices which uh, the woman could use? Oh yes, uh, if some uh, females or if anybody has any kind of uh, bloating or gas or indigestion, there are nice things that you have in your kitchen. Of course, uh, there is a very nice formula I often tell, I call it anti-ama formula uh, which you can make at home. You have to take uh, ginger, cumin and coriander 10 grams each and fennel and dry mint 20 grams each. So, mix them together make a nice powder. This is good for your uh, digestion and it helps to also uh, digest the ama from the intestines. You can take this uh, from this mixture 1 teaspoon twice a day with warm water. But if uh, the females as we are talking about bloating and uh, gas you are asking. So, maybe we add to this uh, mixture uh, just uh, 5 grams asafoetida. Asafoetida is hing, you know, it is available normally in Indian shops and uh, you can add. So, this uh, really uh, is very strong and effective in uh, removing the wind, extra wind from the bowels, from the intestines and it also helps the digestive system. It also helps to clean the bowels. So, this can be done. Of course, uh, a very simple formula is you take one cup of warm water and you put some fresh ginger juice in this like maybe one teaspoon and one teaspoon of fresh mint juice you mix in this and maybe one teaspoon of lemon juice three things in one cup of warm water and you drink. This is also good for uh, releasing the wind and uh, taking care of the bloating which is caused by indigestion normally.